Hi guys, it's been a while since I put out a video, but oh my gosh, I had to get one out because today was such an exciting day. They started doing demolition over at the property next door, our new property, and oh my gosh, it is so exciting. It's, it's just great to see progress going on over there, even though it's demolition. Um, but it was so exciting. I took some videos, so I'm going to insert some video for you. Um, but what ended up happening is they had to take out not only the brick wall that was leaning, um, and as they scraped back the dirt, we weren't entirely sure what sort of a foundation, if any, um, the big concrete step unit had under it. And so come to find out it did not have a real foundation. So uh, it was coming away from the house and it wasn't ever like really secured to the house or anything. So it, it would have just toppled over and it would have been a very dangerous scenario. So I said, take it down. And, uh, but I'm kind of excited about it because that now has allowed me to think about the whole front uh, elevation of that house in a brand new way. And I'm really thinking about gosh, the possibility of now that those stairs aren't there, we could put in some windows in the lower level. Um, you know, I kind of was tossing around the idea of, do we still want to have the front door up there? Um, but I do want to have that because it's good to have two forms, two areas of egress from, you know, the, the upper level of the house. There's sliding glass doors that go out to the back, and then there's that front door that comes out to the front and then there's sliding glass doors down on the lower level in the front. So I think what we're gonna probably end up doing is taking out the sliding glass doors, I think, and putting in some nice, really good quality French doors that you can lock. Um, and then for the upstairs door, I do think it's wise to keep that, but one of the guys suggested, hey, what if you just did a, a nice, metal spiral staircase and I think that would be so cool because my whole vibe that I want to create over there is more modern style um, because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have the foundation that's all exposed that's going to be power washed off and that's going to be painted a really dark gray as well as like the eaves of the house and all the soffits and around the windows and the doors everything's going to be painted a dark gray so it's going to look dark and like more solid and I think I think more clean and contemporary. So I really am thinking that that's a nice black steel uh, spiral staircase that has treads that um, are open. Like you know the industrial type of stairs that you might go up and down that have like a very like open grid work and it's like very uh, like uh, very rough and like, so the snow falls right through and it's very good for traction. So it would be safe and it wouldn't be something that my son has to worry about shoveling the steps or anything. So I think that that might be the thing to do. And then over the downstairs sliding glass door, I could get a really modern, clean looking um, black maybe or dark gray uh, canvas awning over that to kind of provide a little bit of uh, you know, shelter from the weather. And I think it, oh, I'm thinking that's gonna look really good. So I'm getting very, very excited. And I think I would like to put in another window in the downstairs uh, to get more light into the lower level. So anyway, I got all these creative juices flowing and it's super exciting. Um, but I'm gonna insert the clips of the demolition. It was really fun watching that. I couldn't unfortunately stay for the whole day and film the whole thing because I had work, um, but I filmed a little bit and it was really cool. So I'll insert some clips. They're gonna be back tomorrow to finish um, demolition. Well, start demolition demo on the side of the house where there's um, stacked railroad ties um, and then around to the back where there's the old decking. Uh, the remnants of the fencing on that decking. Um, so it's just like, it's a big old mess over there. It looks like, oh, just it looks horrible. I keep apologizing to the neighbors. I keep saying it looks horrible now, but I promise you it's gonna look good. So uh, they're gonna be back tomorrow, I believe. And I don't know if they'll be able to um, finish everything over there, but uh, you know, they'll get quite a bit done, I'm sure. 
So I will be sure to film as much of that as I can and I'll insert that as well. So I'm just like over the moon that something is starting on uh, one of our two big projects. Uh, still not sure when our front um, uh, wall project is going to start. I, our mason said um, like end of October, so it could be any time. But at least I have something that I'm really uh, excited about and being able to focus out over there. So that's all good. And the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is that I actually applied for and was accepted into the Master Gardener program through uh, Penn State Extension. So I started that, uh, it would be a week ago today. And uh, what it is, is it consists of a Zoom class every Thursday evening that's for all for, uh, statewide for all the Master Gardener students across the state. And then on uh, Saturday mornings, it's a uh, in-person class at our local college here at King's College uh, with just the county uh, kids, with kids, kids, <laughs> county students. So there's about 23 people in the program um, in uh, Lackawanna and Luzerne County. And oh my gosh, last Saturday we met in person for the first time and did uh, you know some fun kind of games and introductory botany kind of things uh, to get to know each other. And oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how many, every single person in the class is super interesting so so many cool stories and what they do and what they're interested in and just amazing amazing people so we've got an awesome master gardener class for the class of 2023 so uh, i'll let you know more about you know what we're doing with that as this goes on but last week's um topic was um was botany and that was pretty intense there's a lot of information and they kind of apologized uh, that they had to throw so much at us in depth right out of the gate. It was like the hardest chapter was the first one. So um, there was a lot of material there to, to learn, but very, very interesting. And then Saturday, like I said, that that was um, more about, you know, getting to know each other and, uh, you know, doing just a little bit of talk about botany and, and stuff like that. So I'm just over the moon excited about this opportunity and uh, what it is basically is you, um, you have your classes which start October, um, you know, beginning of October and stretch um, until April. Uh, you have to take a midterm exam and a final exam. You need to score at least 80% on those exams. Uh, and then you also have to uh, devote 50 hours of volunteer work to master gardener uh, programs. So uh, it's real heavy on community and educational type of stuff. Uh, so I'll be sure to let you know about those things when I get to that point where I start doing my volunteer work to get my hours. And then once I complete those 50 hours, um, I will receive my master gardener's uh, certification. And then after that, every year you need to do um, continuing education and uh, I believe it's 20 hours of community service, uh, you know, specific um, master gardener work uh, to maintain your designation. So I am just really excited about this opportunity and meeting all these really cool new people. I mean, uh, it's, it's very, very exciting. So I have to go though, because my class is starting in five minutes, my Zoom, statewide Zoom class. So I have to get online and get logged in and I will keep you guys posted as to what tomorrow brings for the demolition project on the new property. So, all right guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.
Okay, here is the day two update. They have uh, dug out on the corner here. Um, what we decided is we're gonna have, when we have our field stone wall uh, put in down here, we're gonna continue it down and have it marry up with the corner of this house. So they dug this little bit out here so it'll be easier for our stonemason when he comes to put in the probably 18 or 24 inch field stone wall that's gonna right, reach all the way down this side of Murray Street. So that's been good. And they removed all of this fill, exposed the foundation. And I'm really thinking that a nice thing to do would be to get, you know, pour an additional slab of concrete over to here and then install a really cool modern black spiral staircase there. So we shall see, but that's the, the idea of the moment. And as you can see, they are working on taking out that retaining wall there and digging the grade down so that it is matching up with the alleyway so that we can just put some gravel in there and do some parking along the side. So I'm gonna walk around and give you a little bit better view. Just have to watch traffic here. They've got their safety cones up and everything like that and blocked off the sidewalk. But we're definitely keeping this Japanese maple. So they're being careful of that. digging all this fill out so it's going to be level with the grade of the street. And this is the state of affairs back here. My son Kane has jumped in to lend a hand. Looks like a war zone, but it's on the upswing. So all of this rubbish is gonna be gone. All of this decking, we're cutting apart the deck. And they're gonna remove that little cabana and we're gonna try to keep that. So very exciting stuff. another update this is looking good the retaining wall is gone they're working on grading this out and this is where we're just gonna put gravel so we can have some parking here let's see what the boys are up to The cabana has moved and a lot of the decking is gone. The posts. Oh, this is looking super good.
wanted to give you a final tour of the finished demolition over here at the property next door where my son is living. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. They pulled out all of the, I apologize for all the noise in the background. They're doing some big time construction up the street. Um, but they pulled out the uh, vegetation there and uh, they just took the mulch back a little bit just to clean it up. Um, but then pulled out all of the brick retaining wall, all of the shrubs and the back fill. Uh, then of course pulled out the two concrete step units after we discovered that they were not going to be structurally sound. So we are, uh, I'm going to be talking to the zoning officer to see what our options are as far as can I put in um, that concrete slab, bring a concrete slab over to about right here and then do uh, a pretty black spiral staircase down. If that's allowed, that's what we're going to do. If it's not allowed, we'll have to come up with a plan B. But for now, this looks nice and neat. And I'm not worrying about the, you know, the painting on the, on the foundation looks terrible, but the house is going to get painted next year, new roof, new gutters. So that's going to be next spring's project as well as uh, renovating the air conditioning on this property. But oh my gosh, look at this beautiful Japanese maple. Doesn't that look so, so pretty there? Uh, and they pulled out all of the little river rocks in there, left the two boulders, and they connected our downspouts uh, underneath into pop-up drains so that the force of the water will come and pop that up and it will disperse kind of like a little fountain and they did the same thing right here uh, they have a pipe that's underneath the mulch that runs up to the back gutter so oh this looks so pretty it looks so pretty even with the leaves on the dark mulch oh my gosh but I just love these beautiful boulders I love the lichens on there they're so pretty and then up the side of the house, how neat and clean. As you recall, there was a retaining wall here, uh, like the railroad tie kind of retaining walls, the pressure treated lumber. So, and then there was some stone, um, like, uh, I don't know, like interlock type of uh, uh, brick stones, blocks, I don't know, <laughs> there. So everything got dug out and the grade adjusted. And all of this electrical here is to the old air conditioning system. That's all going to go. And uh, they're going to put a new central AC unit in. And that's going to be bolted right to the foundation on a bracket. So that'll be up, up off the ground. So everything's going to be handled really well our next go around. So they put mulch up here and brought it around the corner and just kind of created a planting bed here, but I have no idea if this will be a planting bed. We don't know whether this is going to be parking. We don't know. We've not made the plan about the back here yet. But what is uh, remaining is we did keep this cabana and it's, it's not gonna, it'll stay here for the winter just so that it won't blow away. But we'll try to incorporate this into the new design somewhere in this yard. Um, and then we did keep this concrete step unit and this concrete pad for now, uh, but that will not be part of the original or the, the uh, ending plan. Uh, we'll probably have something coming straight down off of the sliders because this actually only comes up to half of the slider. See, so that's just not ideal. So we probably will have something coming straight off the slider, but for now, so that uh, our son can get in and out of the house um, and it can be neat and clean, we just left those two items. So they created um, a nice mulch bed here, pulled out uh, some other uh, shrubbery here, um, and then we will end up opening up the sh this uh, fencing here and bringing it across probably someplace uh, this side of that propane tank because the guys have to be able to access that propane tank from the street to fill it. So probably just this side of that propane tank. We might end up losing that little bush there. It's kind of no big deal anyway. Um, and then this will all be opened up and this will all get reworked. 
but with the thought that we were hopefully going to be getting a pool in here um, next year, we just had them, instead of putting mulch down, uh, we had them put modified down. And uh, that'll work if we do a pool, or if we decide not to get a pool, I might do a really pretty like raised vegetable garden in here, in which case we could just put the raised beds right on top of this. And, um, you know, it'll and put gravel walkways, and so it'll be all good. But they uh, did a pretty, you know, mulch bed around the edge of the fence here. Kind of curved it around. It might be a little hard for you to see because I'm shooting into the sun. Get over here a little bit. Maybe we could see it better. Yeah, there we go. That's a better shot there. So the mulch bed just comes around and over there to the steps and back under the cabana and down but oh my gosh it is just so like uplifting to have this area clean and clear and just a blank slate so it's it's nice and clean and it's not an eyesore for our neighbors anymore and uh you know yeah we're just really excited about getting a, a plan together whether it be a pool or I mean if it's a pool it's going to be a very small one we're not looking for a big you know huge backyard pool um, it will just be something basically like to just like a, a plunge pool or something like that and uh, just something to jump in cool off and enjoy you know in the summertime but uh, the trick right now is for me to get somebody to come out and give me an estimate because everybody's so busy that nobody's, I'm on people's lists to come out and give me an estimate. So I don't know. We'll see if it's going to happen. But uh, I just wanted to wrap this up and show you the finished project, which we are just thrilled about. And now we're ready and buttoned up for the winter and we can just get all of our plans together and be ready to roll in the spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this project. It was a long one, but it was, it was well worth it. And uh, we're really excited about everything we got done this year. So thanks again for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.